Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth, and I'm back today to do another charm reading for you guys. Um, today, I was just inspired to do a quick charm reading because, I don't know, I've been reading all these really cool books here um, at the library where I, where I record on poetry, and there's just a lot of inspirational things, and I was like, you know, I'm going to do a charm reading and inspire everybody to read more poetry and read more things that inspire them and do things that inspire them. Um, I go to this coffee shop every day and I notice people read um, only certain books. I'm not going to go into what those books are, but it's just like there's limited thinking and limited exploration about, you know, things that might be inspirational. And I remember like this old friend of mine a long time ago who probably doesn't watch my videos by now, but she um, had kind of fallen into like a rut in her life. And I was like, don't you ever just go to Barnes and Noble and look at the books? And she's like, no. I was like, why don't you go to Barnes and Noble and check out some of the cookbooks? Or look at some of the things that, you, that are there. You know, check out the um, really cool journal section and, you know, just, just kind of explore and go and like, check to see you know what's what's there what's new maybe grab a drink or something you know at the coffee shop you know and and she's like later she told me she went but didn't really find anything and I found that interesting because every time I go exploring somewhere I always discover something and I feel like it's important for people to use their intuition and be open to the exploration and discovery part of life if we do not continue to do that, then our lives become stale and boring. Um, this is one of the reasons why people, you know, uh, want to see my astrology videos over and over again. That's repetitive, and I resist doing them because I want to continually stretch and be inspired. I want to continue to continue to explore spirit in a way that's different and unique, um, and that's why I record the content that I do. I record all kinds of stamp readings and bean readings, and I do want to do like one with just corks. Uh, there's a whole bunch of bags of cork, just like wine corks, um, at the th uh, the thrift shop near me, and I was like, I really want to do that. It's just, you know, like there's a whole poetry-inspired um, series that I want to do. Just, um, you know, really branch out, and that you know, this is just my creativity, and I inspire. I I am here to inspire you guys to really get out of the rut that you're in, be open to exploring things, go for a walk with the intention that you're going to go exploring, you're going to discover things on your path, and look for things, look for signs, look for things in your path that are meant to be for you. Um, that's important that I say that. I don't know why. So, um, before I jump in. Um, I do want to remind everybody to please donate if you can. Um, all of that is really, really appreciated and um, very helpful at this time. There's so much that I have to do um, and at this time that um, all donations are really, really helpful and appreciated. So, um, so I'm just going to pull up the charm see what we get. This is a fun one today. Ooh, it's gonna be so fun. First of all, I wanna say that the charms I pulled, there's a lot of positive energy here. So if you guys have been maybe down in the dumps or not feeling your best, I feel like you're going to feel much better, lighter and uh, happier. That's what I want to say. You're going to be blooming, I'm hearing, from spirit. Um, it's interesting. I wrote this card to myself a long time ago about what it meant to be in blossom, to blossom. And you'd think that it would mean um, ex like expanding in some way or getting bigger, but it's not. It's a balance point between truth and peace. Um... I wrote that and I thought that that was very interesting. I couldn't remember writing it. It's been so long since I wrote it, but I thought that that was something to think on. And I think there's this balance here between truth and peace. It feels very peaceful. It feels like there's a lot of, um, 
strong energy coming through. Um, so just really important, I think, to remember um, being open to things. Being open is being open to the truth of situations and trying to remain in a peaceful mindset as well. Um, first, I have to talk about this marble. This marble is my favorite, one of my favorite things that I have. Um, for those of you who don't know, who are new, I discovered a whole bunch of marbles in the kids uh, garden plot that I dug up to take the dirt out when the, the land was sold. We got permission to do that and I did that uh, I think it was two seasons ago and I discovered these marbles in there and they were mixed in quite deep into the dirt and I wasn't expecting it. But the thing about it is, is that I was having such, I was in such a bad mood that day and I was having such a rough time and the marbles just cheered me up and it was something pretty and it was fall and it was bitter and I just you know something pretty sometimes cheers you up so be sure to do something pretty for yourself or look at yourself through the eyes through eyes of love but also um, maybe buy yourself something pretty this can indicate the marble can indicate things specifically from kids um, surprises from kids cheerfulness from kids um, working with kids but the marble can also indicate like adult level pretty things of uh, jewelry maybe um, receiving a jewelry a, gi a gift of jewelry because we have the unexpected gift um, cube here which came to me as an unexpected gift when I bought uh, one of my other pieces so to me this is a thing about the kids here and you might have the thing about it is you might end up having more kids than you're expecting number one and number two you might have a surprise. Um, you might get pregnant by surprise. There's something about a surprise pregnancy here as well. Um, there's some messages coming through which some of you, they may be, you might cry, but I feel like they're going to be positive in some way. Um, we have the surprise key, which is about, is really about mystery, the unexpected surprise, unexpected. Um, thing that comes up in life that you're that you just do not see coming and I think it's going to be really positive um, it's like a positive curveball curveball is what I want to say um, you might be there's two keys here which I find interesting you might be signing some documents to me this is this held um, some important lease agreement that I that I had and I was like I'm putting it in my charm bag because it represents lease agreements documents that you need to sign paperwork, um, a new apartment for some people, a new house for others. Um, this piece, for some of you need, that need to hear, everything's going to be okay, everything is going to be okay. Um, and some of you have a very special connection to someone. The red thread indicates a cord of love with someone. And I don't usually talk about this red thread but I want to talk about it for a moment because it represents having a cord of love and having a cord of love means that it's very hard to not break up with someone but to, to stop loving that person. There's always going to be some residual energies of love between you and, and that person that you share. Um, it's a very special connection and you're going to know who it is. Um, you know, as soon as, as soon as I say it, you're going to know who it is. Um, by the way, I'm running out of of memory on my camera so I have to uh, go um, but um, I guess I my, my last message is to stay positive be open buy yourself some flowers celebrate anything that comes through at this time definitely celebrate there's gonna be some wins I feel very strongly and some beautiful energy around kids and children and um, family so um, I'm gonna just end here thank you guys so much for watching I send everyone big hugs and big kisses and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye guys